All right, guys, this is crazy. Samsung might have just made the most powerful smartphone chip in the world, and it's not Snapdragon this time. It's the new Exynos 2600, and according to a new Geekbench leak, this thing is hitting a mind-blowing 4.2 gigahertz on one of its cores. Yeah, 4.2 gigahertz, that's basically desktop-level performance in a phone chip. So here's what's going on. The Exynos 2600 is expected to power next year's Galaxy S26 series, and it's built on Samsung's fancy new two nanometer process. That's their most advanced chip tech ever, smaller, faster, and more efficient. But over the past few weeks, people have spotted two different versions of the chip on benchmark websites. One had peak speeds of 3.80 gigahertz, and another one was around 3.55 gigahertz. But now, someone just shared a screenshot of what looks like a third version, and this one is wild. The prime core hits 4.2 gigahertz, three mid cores run at 3.56 gigahertz, and six smaller efficiency cores run at 2.76 gigahertz. So everything is clocked higher than before. Basically, this version is like the Exynos 2600 on steroids. And here's the crazy part. This chip reportedly scored 4,217 in single core and 13,482 in multi core on Geekbench. That's record breaking. To put that in perspective, that's in the same performance territory as Apple's M5 chip, which is a desktop grade processor. Like we're talking laptop level speed in a phone. Now, before we all lose our minds, there's a catch. We can't confirm if this benchmark is 100% real, because honestly, it's actually super easy to fake Geekbench listings. People do it all the time, so we gotta take this one with a pinch of salt. But even then, the fact that multiple versions of the Exynos 2600 are popping up online shows Samsung is really pushing this chip hard, testing, tweaking, and trying to make sure it can finally compete with Snapdragon again. And here's something interesting. Samsung has reportedly delayed its next Galaxy Unpacked event to late February. That's later than usual. So maybe, just maybe, they're taking extra time to perfect the Exynos 2600 before the big reveal. I mean, it makes sense. If they want to start relying so much on Qualcomm and their Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chip, they need to make sure the Exynos is flawless, powerful, stable, and efficient. It also fits with what we've been hearing. Samsung wants to use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in as few Galaxy S26 models as possible. Basically, they want to go back to their roots and use Exynos in more regions, maybe even globally, if it can actually perform this good. Now, think about this for a second. If this 4.2 GHz version is real, that means Samsung's chip could be faster than Snapdragon for the first time in years. And that's huge. Because for the past few generations, everyone's been saying, oh, just get the Snapdragon model, it's faster, runs cooler and more efficient. But if Samsung finally cracked it and made Exynos not just equal, but better, that's a big comeback story. Of course, high clock speeds sound great on paper, but it's not just about raw power. The real question is, can it handle heat? Can it stay stable? Can it keep that 4.2 gigahertz speed for long without throttling? Because if the phone starts cooking your hands after two minutes of gaming, then all that power means nothing. So we'll need to see how Samsung manages thermals this time. Another thing I find interesting is how aggressive Samsung seems to be getting. They're clearly confident in their new two nanometer process. If these results are even close to true, it means Samsung's fabrication tech might finally be catching up or even beating TSMC, who makes most of the Snapdragon chips. That's a big shift in the industry if it happens. So what does this mean for us as users? Well, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could end up being one of the fastest phones ever made. Games, multitasking, AI features, camera processing, everything could run smoother and faster. But again, we have to wait until Samsung officially confirms it because Geekbench leaks aren't always the full picture. Still, I can't lie, seeing numbers like 4,217 single core and 13,482 multi core are nuts. That's the kind of power we used to see in laptops, not phones. And if Samsung really pulls this off, it could change the way we look at Exynos completely. 
So yeah, this could either be one of the biggest performance leaps in smartphone history, or just another overhyped benchmark that doesn't reflect real world use. Either way, I'm hyped to see what Samsung reveals next, because if they've really tuned this two nanometer beast to perfection, Qualcomm might have a serious fight on their hands in 2025. And honestly, after all the years of people clowning on Exynos, if this turns out real, this could be the ultimate comeback. Now, I want to know what you think. Would you actually buy the Galaxy S26 if it came with this new Exynos 2600 chip, or would you still go for the Snapdragon version? Let me know down in the comments, because this is getting really interesting.